All right, just gonna do a video exposing the fact that Billy Graham was in fact an agent of Romanism. Now I understand that Billy Graham has been dead now since 20, 2018 actually. He was born in 1918, about four days before World War I ended. And he died in 2018, I believe it was in, in February or March, I don't remember the exact date. But he died at the age of 99 years old. And the simple fact of the matter is that there are people in my personal family I know of that still look up to Billy Graham and think he was a great person and think he was a, a fundamentalist or whatever. Uh, the fact of the matter is the guy was an agent of Rome. He served the Romanist agenda, he served the papacy, and he was just an agent to draw more of, of what's called Protestant America back under the authority and control of the Roman Catholic Church. So here are some ex excerpts from an article on wayoflife.org uh, by David Cloud documenting Graham himself openly admitting to being you know uh, drawn to Catholicism and how you know there are Catholics that were praising his meetings and he was friends with Catholics yeah that's simple you can't call yourself a fundamentalist and hold to the biblical truths and be friends with Jesuits and Papists because the Roman Catholic Church is completely antithetical to New Testament biblical Christianity Roman Catholicism is a cult from the pit of hell plain and simple but it says here here's the first excerpt it says in his autobiography Graham acknowledged that he begun he began to be to be draw close to Rome very early in his ministry. He writes, quote, at the time, March 1950, Protestantism in New England was weak due in part to theological differences within some denominations, the influence of Unitarian uh, ideas in other denominations, and the strength of the Roman Catholic Church. In spite of all that, a number of Roman Catholic priests and Unitarian, Unitarian clergy, together with some of their parishioners, came to the meetings along with those from evangelical churches. With my limited evangelical background, this was a further expansion of my own ecumenical outlook. I now began to make friends among people from many different backgrounds and to develop a spiritual love for their clergy. Graham, just as I am, page 167. That's his autobiography. So he himself is admitting he's being drawn to Roman Catholicism. And this is as far back as 1950. And by the way, too, there are, uh, there's evidence that Graham was friends with uh, uh, the, the, Ar the Catholic Archbishop Fulton Sheen as far back as 1944. So it, it's not like a new thing uh, with Graham or a thing that was just like in the past couple of decades. It goes as far back as the 1940s. But next excerpt from the article says, By well, the end of 1950, Graham had formed a permanent team of staff members who arranged his meetings. Willis Haymaker was the front man who would go into cities and set up organizational structure necessary to operate the Crusades. One of his duty, even in those early days, was as follows. Quote, he would call, he would also call on the local Catholic bishop or other cler uh, clerics to acquaint them with crusade plans and invite them to the meetings. They would usually appoint a priest to attend and report back. This was years before Vatican II's openness to Protestants. But we are concerned to let the, the Catholic bishops see that my goal was not to get people to leave their church. Rather, I wanted them to commit their lives to Christ. So he says that he doesn't want them to leave the apostate harlot uh, mystery Babylon Roman Catholic Church but other but rather that they commit their lives to Christ well what which Christ are we talking about the Christ of Roman the Jesus Christ of Roman Catholicism is not the Jesus Christ of God's word the Christ of Roman Catholicism is another Christ which Paul warned about in 2nd Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4 and Rome preaches another gospel warned about and condemned as accursed in Galatians chapter 1 verse 6 to 9 so yeah they're committing their lives to Christ but which Christ are we talking about see the Christ of Roman Catholicism is the Antichrist it's not Jesus Christ of God's word. But here's the next excerpt, excerpt from the article. In 1950, Dr. Robert Ketchum of the General Association of Regular Baptist Churches came across a newspaper article indicating that Graham expected Catholics and Jews to cooperate in a revival in, in uh, Oregon, and another which reported that Graham had, had turned over decision cards to Roman Catholic churches. Ketchum promptly sent a letter of inquiry to Billy himself his letter brought him a strong rebuke from Graham's executive secretary, Jerry Beaven. Part of Beaven's reply was as follows. For example, you asked if Billy Graham had invited Roman Catholics and Jews to cooperate in evangelistic meetings. Such a thought, even if the reporter did suggest it as having come from Mr. Graham, seems, seems ridiculous to me. Surely you must know that that is not true. Further, that you should give any credence to the idea that Mr. Graham would ever turn over any decision cards to the Roman Catholic churches may seem or seems inconceivable. And it is a, that's a Josh Ash book, New Naturalism uh, 2. Basically, he's trying to deny that, uh, oh, Graham never did that. But then later, Graham goes on to do the exact same thing they're trying to deny he was doing, which is turning over the, the cards to the Roman Catholic churches and yoking up with Jews and Catholics. And by the way, Judaism is a false religion as well. Judaism is not any less false than Roman Catholicism. Judaism 
is a false antichrist spirit of religion because it denies that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and therefore is of the spirit of antichrist according to 1 John chapter 2 verse 22 and 23. Judaism is a false religion and Jews uh, and Catholics are both of the same antichrist spirit. But it says, continuing on in the article, uh, Graham was soon doing openly what Mr. Beaven labeled uh, what, what Mr. Beaven labeled ridiculous and inconceivable. On September 6, 1952, reporter William Mc, McElwin, hopefully saying that right, writing for the Pittsburgh Sun Telegraph, remarked on Graham's ecumenical activities with Rome. Quote, Graham stressed that his crusades in Pittsburgh would be interdenominational, and that he and that he hopes to hear a bishop. Uh, Fulton J. Sheen at one of the masses at St. Paul's Cathedral tomorrow. Graham said many of the people who have reached a decision for Christ at our meetings have joined the Catholic Church and we have uh, received accommodations from Catholic publications uh, so yeah, accommodations from the Catholic publications for the revived interest in their church following one of our campaigns. This happened both in Boston and Washington. After all, one of our prime purposes is to help the churches in a community. So basically, they're saying that there's a revived interest in the Roman Catholic harlot mystery Babylon cult because of his his uh, meetings in this area. And this is this is back in 1952. So it, again, it's not a new thing. With it wasn't like a recent development. It was a, it was going on for decades and decades prior to what's seen as, as some kind of recent apostasy in the 1990s or whatever. No, it's as far back as the 1940s and 50s. Graham was yoking up with these papists who are pushing this 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 revival of Romanism. But continuing on in the excerpts, uh, Boston's Archbishop Richard Cushing, uh, Cushing, I guess I say it right, also expressed a special, also exercised special influence over Billy Graham beginning in 1950. Cushing printed Bravo Billy in front of his diocesan uh, paper uh, during the January 1950 campaign. In an interview in 1991, Graham referred to this as one of the highlights of his ministry. He writes, quote, another significant thing happened in the early 50s in Boston. Cardinal Cushing, in his magazine, The Pilot, put Bravo Billy on the front cover. That made news all over the country. How and I, he and I became close, wonderful friends. That was my first real coming to grips with the whole Protestant Catholic situation. I began to realize that there were Christians everywhere. They might be called modernists or Catholics or whatever, but they were Christians. Books or Journal, November 1991. So he's uh, praising this Catholic for mentioning him. First of all, the fact that a bit, an archbishop from the Catholic Church is saying, talking about him in a positive light is already a red flag in and of itself. But the fact that he's that Billy Graham is praising that, saying, hey, great, I have a Catholic bishop praising me. You know, it's a bunch of garbage. The Catholic Church uh, should not be, would not be praising true Bible-believing saints. But the fact that they're praising Billy Graham, this Catholic bishop here, uh, is already a red flag in and of itself. So that's just some examples of the fact that Billy Graham was just an agent of Romanism. He was an agent of the apostate and pagan Roman Catholic Church, and which again, Revelation 17 and 18 condemns as Mystery Babylon. So don't be deceived, Billy Graham, uh, he did start off somewhat good at the beginning, but like I said, he's been yoked up with Rome ever since the 1940s and 50s. So anyway, don't be deceived, don't be deceived by the big following Billy Graham has. Remember, Luke chapter six talks about how the false prophets are loved by the world. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.